Hello everyone and welcome to the Yacht Market Knowledge Zone. Uh, it's good to see that the sun's finally out. It's uh, warmed up a bit, which is fantastic news. Well, the, the Knowledge Zone here is, uh, is, is something that we're, we're doing that's brand new and we're trying to uh, get people into sailing and teach them all aspects of, uh, of boating and we've got some fantastic guest speakers. So uh, without further ado, I'd really like to introduce Alexis Eyre from, um, from Sunsail, who's here to tell us about some wonderful flotilla sailing holidays that Sunsail do. Over to Thank you, Alexis. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Simon. Um, yeah, so I'm here to tell you about flotilla sailing holidays. Um, some of you, it's probably the product that most people associate Sunsail with. We were the founders of flotilla back about 43 years ago. Um, I thought I'd just give you a video just to give you a rough idea of what flotilla sailing holidays incorporate before I carry on. Okay, so hopefully that just gives you a quick insight into kind of what flotilla sailing holidays are. That's actually our, our newest destination um, and extremely popular. But as far as what a flotilla is, um, it's a group of say, yachts that sail together or sort of in company. Um, and they're accompanied. I think the main thing about a flotilla is it's accompanied by a boat that has a flotilla skipper, an engineer and a hostess on board as well. So you've always got the support of having someone there who knows a lot of the local knowledge. Do you need to know how to sail? You do not at all. You can easily hire a skipper, maybe get some sailing qualifications beforehand, but you don't ever have had to sail beforehand. So literally this holiday is for everyone. And it's, um, it's just a great way to get involved. Uh, Sunsail basically started, well, the sort of foundations of the whole of Fertilla started back in June 1974 when an intrepid group of seven Snapdragon 25 yachts, well, 25 Snapdragon yachts set sail from Aegina in the Saronic in Greece. And it all started again with a lead crew. And it was these three guys that basically were like, they came up with this brand new concept. And it was the first ever flotilla. And it was uh, the start of YCA, which was the Yacht Cruising Association that later became Sunsail, set up by Eric Richardson. Um, they came up with this idea and they, London Boat Show was too expensive for them to actually exhibit at. So they thought outside the box. They got in touch um, with the guys at Victoria Station and said, can we plonk a yacht in the middle of your station? And they said, well, we've never had that before, but go for it. And they started distributing leaflets out to there. And it, yeah, in the middle of the winter, trying to sell this beautiful summer sailing holiday. And it was literally within a week, the first ever flotilla was sold. And off they set. And this, this photo here is it's a bit grainy because it's quite old, but it's, um, yeah, it's the lead crew setting off for the very first time out in the Saronic. Who can go on sailing holidays? Um, it literally, again, is for everyone. You can be a couple, you can be a family, you can be a number of different groups of friends joining together, or you can be a group of friends on, on a whole. So it, it literally, depending on what you're after, it can actually be for anyone. As I said, if you can't sell, really, really don't worry. You can always, always hire a skipper. They are literally there to help you. They can 
They can teach you as much as you want to learn or if you just want to chill out and just not do anything apart from lie there, then they can also just ferry you around. So it's comp you, can get, you can get whatever you want out of these guys. Um, and so um, it just makes it much more, um, you are able, it gives everyone the opportunity to be able to enjoy this amazing holiday even if you've never been on a boat before. Ooh. Sorry, two seconds. My computer is not liking me right now. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so why are flotillas so popular? Um, because you have up to 12 boats that go in a flotilla with, with the lead crew, it's a real chance to meet loads and loads of different people. You know, if you're going in the summer, you can get, you know, you end up with loads of kids, like, grouping together. Um, or you can just, I mean, so many people actually set up Facebook groups after their flotillas. And actually become friends for life and the amount that have these big reunions and invite us along it's just amazing they really do and sometimes they go year after year trying out different flotilla routes um, I think the other thing is because you've got this lead crew that know everything they're extremely knowledgeable of the area but also have a technician on board so if there's any you know issues that you might have um, they are able to help you and they're always close by and I think that's that's another thing um, that people love flotillas for. If you, if you do sail, having that just that safety knowledge around you, I think really, really helps. Um, and then also, I mean, they do things like morning briefings when they'll go through each day where you're going to go on to next, um, what bays you're going to stop off at, what you, what you might see en route, what, you know, what to expect as far as um, the sea conditions, the wind conditions. Um, and so, you know, I think it, it really helps you, especially if you don't know the area very well. And also, it's a great way to explore lots of new regions without not having to think about an itinerary and having to do all the research yourself, because they just tell you where to go, which is always a win. There is also, um, this is quite a new concept. There's actually, you can, you can if you're not just focused on the sailing, uh, there's actually a lot of opportunity that people start combining um, different sort of hobbies with flotillas and so you know one of the really popular ones is actually um, I think they said 40% of holidays are now sold on the type of food that comes from that region it's absolutely enormous and so people are just obsessed by food and wine I think that's probably to do with social media and the TV and everything else so food and wine flotillas where you get to literally moor off uh, remote an uh, well sort of at remote anchorages um, and just pop ashore and go to a vineyard that no one from land can reach. It's those kind of unique experiences you just don't get if, you're, if you stay on land. We also have a kite surf and flotilla, another very popular one. People who want to go and find open, I can't even remember the expression, open water or clean water. It's where there's no other kite surfers around. You won't get blocked by anyone else. And you can just jump off the side of the boat into completely like fresh water where there's no one else around. So, I think the kite surfers absolutely love it and it means they can be on the water 100% of the time rather than only through the daytime. So I think it, it appeals to quite a lot of people. The other thing that's really nice as well is if you actually want to take it a bit further, um, there is the opportunity to do learning to sail flotillas. So that's another new concept. It's so that you can actually be on flotilla but you can learn at the same time. Sometimes you can come out with a qualification at the end. Um, and, and so when you get round to your flotilla the following year, you actually can take it out by yourself the boat. And I think that's... I think that's becoming more and more popular. Definitely a massive trend for this boat show has been seen that people really wanted to learn on, well, you know, while they're on holiday. And then this sounds, this sounds dodgy, but it's actually not meant to be dodgy. It's the adult-only flotillas. Um, again, another very popular thing. It's it's for people that um, you know would like to just go out with loads of other adults, um, and you often get those as sort of outside school holidays. And again, it's sort of quite a popular popular concept. Um, and the final thing is, is that when you go on flotilla, you can choose from monohulls or catamarans. Um, there's, a, there's a difference. Some people love, some people, you often find the UK sailors, they absolutely love monohulls. They're true traditionalists. But actually, the trend is now coming towards more catamarans. You get a hell of a lot of um, living space inside. Um, and it's really spacious. And you often find quite a lot with it that cabins actually have en suites. So they actually have, each cabin has its own head. So again, it sort of means that you can get lots of groups of people together on the same boat and you have got that, that sort of, well, the sort of area of, sec sec not secrecy, privacy, um, that you can really, that some people seek for. So you can actually take either monohulls or catamarans when you go on a flotilla. And that is it as a rough, really quick overview on what a flotilla sailing holiday is. Does anyone have any questions? Yes. Um, what sort of areas of the world do you cover on the uh, sunset holiday? 
Uh, we cover, well, SunSail General, we have 25 destinations worldwide. Um, but for Flotilla, we do um, Greece, Croatia, Mallorca, um, and the BVI. And we've got about 18 different flotilla routes. We literally have something for everyone. We have everything from um, ones that go out in Greece that have kids coordinators on board. So you have for, for three or two or three hours when you arrive back in every day, um, the kids coordinator looks after all the kids and they go off and play beach games and they go off and have a lot of, they do a lot of treasure hunts and things like that. So it just makes it really fun and then the parents can have a bit of peace every single day. So they, they are really, really popular. Um, and then the other one, as I said, oh, the other one I forgot was Italy and that's where the big culinary ones are. So we do a lot of wine and food for tillers down in, um, down in the Italian regions. My pleasure. <laughs> Anyone else? Can you change boats at all? If you can do a few days on a monohull and a few days on a catamaran, or is it you stay with the same boat? Um, you generally stay with the same boat. I've, I've never heard that concept before, but I'm sure that's possible <laughs> if you wanted to try wanted to try out a different. Yeah, a bit of boat swapping. Yeah. Maybe you have a deal with a family that has a catamaran while you're on a monohull. You do a mid mid flotilla week swap. And what's the advantage between a catamaran and a monohull? I'm a big monohull sailor, I love monohulls, but I think having now done a holiday on a catamaran, I think the space that you get from a catamaran is absolutely amazing. It really is, that like you have a full-on sitting room living area that you can just chill out. And actually on the outside, also you have a covered area, so kids have big area to play around in, yeah. but they're also in, they feel quite safe because you know, you've know you got all the guardrails all around, but it just means there's a bit more space. Especially if you've got a big group of friends going, they sleep up to eight or 10 people, so you can actually, but you, it's big enough that you, you don't feel like you're literally sitting on top of each other. But if you are a true traditional sailor, mono hulls are always the one that they like to go down. <laughs> so I think it kind of varies. Anything else? No. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. <laughs> Thank you. And um, you can see, uh, if you want to know more, you can see Alexis and Sunset and the Sunset crew on uh, stand J057. Yes, in Ocean Hall. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>